it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today I'm going to do kind of a fall layout. When Lizzie was a couple months old, it would have been end of September, mid-September type thing um, to October. So I decided to get into the mix-in paper that is um, now current in the catalog. Let me share that with you. One of the pieces, I have part of it. Oops, I also use this piece of paper. I needed a little bit of, of floral. So this is the mix-in for the new catalog. Uh, we've got this plaid and then this um, polka dot, which is adorable. It's kind of in the mink color. And the background is, I believe, also mink. It's French Vanilla Harbor Mink Mist Sage Scarlet Seabrook and Toffee. These are absolutely adorable papers, and I think I only have two packs. I need to get more. So this one is more of the toffee, and then this is the backside. Grab my catalog. These will match with this paper, freshly baked, okay? So this one right here is more of a freshly baked. This one I'm using today, it's adorable. I love the colors on it. It's kind of a a mist color but it looks very textured kind of like a denim and the back side is this wood grain which I am not using but it's cool and then this zip strip which I am going to use today this paper we've got this side and this side which my camera's probably going to hate one of them um, that goes with more of the Christmas story let me grab open the, that goes more with this paper then we've got this kind of, it's a sage, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's little hearts, oh goodness, hearts on here, which aw awesomely reminds me of the Good Vibes paper. And then the other side is just kind of a water wash. It's got some splatters and stuff, so this is an adorable paper. I need to pull this more in, oh, woo, into um, some of the Cherish line. And then we've got this stripe and this diagonal stripe, which of course matches more with the Christmas story and as well with this paper, um, the Fresh Baked. So these papers are amazing and they work really well with everything. So it's nice that I've got these papers to kind of make things kind of mix in well with the, um, the book I'm doing. But like I said, I only bought two packs and I've used pretty much both sheets of this paper now. Oops, I have this sideways. And I will need to get more of that. I tend to, gosh, lately I think I've been getting about six packs of the mix-ins. And remember, there's only one sheet of each paper on there, so I'm only getting like six sheets of paper. This is from um, Happiness Lives Here. And I needed a little bit of a floral, but I needed it to kind of be tamed. So I went with this one. The back side is this little plaid, but I did go with this for one of them. It, it cut out all of these. I didn't want to. Sometimes if I have a lot of um, cuts to do and I just kind of look and I see, oh, it's going to cut a bunch of stuff, but I don't really want to take the time to get out of the program, go back in. I'll just cut it. So I have extras of those if I need them. Okay, so like I said, today we're using the mix-ins, except for that one paper from Happiness Lives Here. And the layout I'm working on, I only have two pictures. I am going to have to do a second layout of it for my other daughter um, when I do her book. This would, she would be, uh, she's almost three, I think, in this picture, Allie is here and this was just they were on my bed and they were snug as a bug in a rug and then I was folding laundry so I thought what a cute little picture I mean look at the little sisters looking at each other and then they're looking at me um this picture is kind of damaged it's got a little hole here and a little bit of a scratch here I stapled this into her baby book and so I pulled it out and cleaned it up as best I could and then just made copies. So these are copies and actually these are better than the originals. Let me grab the originals. I have them over here. See, this is where that um, staple is right there and that. So look how much brighter the pictures are from what I scanned in. So I'm really excited about that. And then here's this, but it just did have that staple mark 
and then this little scratch right there. But what I said before, I like that they're brighter. I matted these on mist. The pictures, I'm going to say they're like, here's six and a half by four and a half, pretty close. Um, I just printed them up and I'm, like I said, really excited. So I've got those. I made this title, Loads of Love. I debated and it's on the cut file below. This banner is too. I did offset it and then I erased the center and I did it all in mink. And then this is that, um, this pattern paper right here that I just showed you that looks kind of like a denim. Um, I've got Mommy's Little Helpers and Loads of Love on there. I cut out both, but I like the Loads of Love. <laughs> when I was putting it on here, though, I um, so these hearts are not on there. Um, I put the of on, and then I went and put the love over here, and I was like, oh, shoot. I should have put the loads and the love, and then put the of kind of centered and put a heart between them if I was going to have that much room. But because I put the of on there, I just put the two hearts right there. I actually punched them out. And funny enough, I use this punch so often. So I've been thinking about getting rid of some of my punches. But this owl punch, I use it for the circles because there's three different sizes of circles and this heart that's on here. I rarely use it for the owl. But this heart and those circles I use all the time. They are the perfect size. And these are just the eyes for the owl. I think it's hilarious. So I use that more than I use any other circle punch when I'm doing things. And I punched out these little ones right here for the buttons on these little flowers. Okay, so let's get back to the sizes. I do have this twine, which is a lawn fawn twine. Um, it's just kind of a natural twine. Um, I wanted something with a little bit of bulk for my clothesline because I'm doing a clothesline on this one. So we have two, pa two papers of this and they are four by eight and a half with this, you know, kind of the mist uh, denim looking. I, uh, this is layout seven and I recently did this, but I don't know. I can't remember what I do when I do it. So this is the other side of the dot paper is this plaid and or gingham and these are three by four and I have four of those. I have one zip strip that I cut so it's half inch by three and I've got four of them. A little paper saving. And then this one is six by, I wanna say 10 and three quarters. Yep, 10 and three quarters and there's two of those and the base is mink dark. So I did use French vanilla and then the mist for the, the photo mats. And I used the light side of mist because I kind of liked how it looked with these little borders. So this is a very simple layout. Um, I had a lot of fun planning it. So we have this little bib. We have some booties. And I used the Cherish paper on these. This is that, um, it's the one on the back side of the borders for this one. And then this little flower here and here is this. So I kind of tied everything in. The base color right here is mist for the little dot. Um, this is from the circle and I sat that somewhere. So I was, well, here, this is what I used. So uh, this is that circle that's cut out of the center of it. Here's the circle. Um, I just use this for the one side. It also had some little britches with it. And um, I just, they were kind of cut off because of the way the circle was. Um, but I really just wanted the dress. And then I took two of the hearts from the owl punch and put on there. This is toffee right here. Um, uh, dark side for the little clothes pins. This is what I used for, um, out of all those cuts I made on the... Happiness lives here floral one. See there's there's a onesie. There's the booty tops, which is here There's a bib and then of course, this is what I used. I just wanted this piece and then Look at these little bridges. So I've got mist uh, Light behind it and then this denim paper as the top But I just thought that was so cute and again, I put everything together uh, because I didn't want to have to fuss and whatnot on the screen. I used, um, well, this one is sage and no, this is, uh, Seabrook. 
and this is honey butter for the little flower there. This did break off when I cut it. It cut horribly, so it doesn't go all the way up, but I was like, eh, whatever, whatever on that one. So each side gets the same bits on this layout. It is um, just mimicking each side. So let's start with that. We'll start with the right side like normal. And then after I get that down there, I am going to take my circle hole punch, um, there's some adhesive on it, and I'm going to punch some holes. So I'll have to lift this up. But I will mark those before I do it because I want those to be straight. Um, this piece right here, let me see here, I'm going to just put it in about a fourth of an inch. Oh, my table is, uh-oh, I set that down. We could have some problems. Oh, it only grabbed this paper. Cool. Okay, so a fourth of an inch in. I'm just kind of centering it visually. And then I was laying stuff on here. I got, okay, so Erin always recommends this Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I am not sure that I recommend it. So far, I have liked certain parts of it, but when it dries, it says it dries clear, but it dries leaving a mark on these papers. So I did wipe a lot of this off, so this one looks pretty clean, but the reason why I added the hearts to the socks is because I had gotten a little drop of glue there, and you could see it. So I'm hesitant for the price point of this, to say this is a fantastic glue. Um, aside from the fact that it, it does work. I mean, it, it is a glue, it works like a glue should. I'm just not sure it's the right glue for any projects I'm doing because I tend to be a little messy. Okay, so I'm going to start this one at right about three and a, well, I'm looking down here and it's three and a half right there. And at four and a half, I need to fix that a little bit. I'm a little over from the four and a half. Okay, there we go. And then, you know, there's two, oh, well, if I'm going from here, it would be two and a half. And that line right there. And then the bottom side, So let's see here, we've got a half, one, two, that would be there, but I need this to come down. So let's start this at about here. There we go. Then I can kind of mimic that on the other side. This banner, I'm not sure I need that other piece. If I start that at three and a half, let me grab the picture. Three and a half looks good. Okay. Okay, so there's three and a half. And here is three and a half. Okay. So these little pieces, I was going to like add an additional like up here. But then I decided I was just going to put them right here at the very top of this. So it's kind of integrated onto that piece. It just saves me from having a little more bulk up. And then we'll put this here, we'll trim as needed. Okay, I'm gonna do the, um, the paper on the other side and then we'll come back and we're gonna do these little holes down here. Okay, I think I'm going to set all these little bits on my desk. They're big enough that they won't fall through, and then I don't have to worry about moving them back and forth. And then let's move over here. And let's put you, and let's lift you up a little bit. Okay, we're going to start this one again at a fourth of an inch in. Keep that kind of consistent. It's always a good thing. I absolutely love this polka dot. I, I'm 
always a fan of good polka dots. So, and this is a beautiful one. It's got that texture to it. And it's also got um, randomness, which I love in a polka dot. I, you know, I, I love a good polka dot. Let's just throw that out there again. I do love a good polka dot. What I love about this one is it's random. It's got kind of a texture on the paper. It's in mink, so you can never go wrong with that. And it's just adorable. So that's my story. And then I wanna measure this, how far out did I go? Um, so it's at half, so about an inch in. So let's see, let's go right here. And then we started the first one, it was at two and a half and I cannot see. So there's two, there's three. Is that about right? Looks about right. Okay. And then the bottom one, we started at the one inch mark, which is right there. And then we started the next one at the four and a half. No, three and a half. So I see this half and I see the four. And so I'm like, oh, four and a half when it's actually three and a half. That's the way my brain sees it. Probably a little dyslexia going on there. I don't have dyslexia. So at least I don't think I do, but I do transpose numbers. So just not medically, just brainily. That's not really a word, but that's my word today for it. My brain does it. Okay, so there we go on those bits. And let's see here. I want this string on both sides to kind of round, but I want this I guess let's start over here and let's make some marks. I'm going to grab a pencil. Pencils are always good. And let's go in about to here and to about here. And that is pretty even with three and three quarters. So let's go over here. No, not three and three quarters, two and three quarters. Again, I did it again, because here's three quarters and here's the three. <laughs> so two and three quarters. And two and three quarters. Yeah, these are not even there. That looks much better. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this up and I'm just gonna punch this little hole on both sides. And then I'm gonna feed this string through here. And on the back side, let's see here. I kind of want it to hang, or do I want it to hang? Let's see here. We've got this one for over here. We've got this one. Oh, it might need to be up higher. Oh, it's kind of low in comparison to what I need. Let's see, how can I do this? Let's keep this straight. Let's just make it straight and then I will work on it that way. And I'm going to flip this over, make it straight, grab some adhesive. Trim. Go. Okay. And I'll put this back down so it doesn't wiggle. Okay, so I I should have planned that a little better, but I think I can work with it. So it's kind of where I wanted it anyway. Oh, I guess I suppose I have to, you know, punch the hole first. And I could have changed it on this side, but I think I think I'm still fine. And I think I like it at that level. I didn't want it up into this. The problem is, is when I'm just laying things down, I don't always get a really good visual. Okay, trim the 
this one a little bit. Okay, and let's put this back down. Now let's play with the clothes and the picture. Actually, let's put the picture on. Well, let's set the picture on. I like this one over here because they're looking at me and I like that they're looking there. So I thought that was kind of a great way of laying those out. Okay, so now we've got, we've got this clothing. We've got the bib. We've got this little dress. We've got this one. We've got these little britches. Aren't those britches cute? And then we've got some socks. And that was kind of where I was headed. This one's going to have to, of course, go up a little bit, but I think that'll be fine. And then we've got the loads of love. So maybe these have to come down. Do I want that here or do I want it here? Or do I want it here? Oh, I kind of like it on that. Ooh, I like that. I still like this picture down low and I can kind of cover that. Perfect. That looks great. Okay, this is my idea. I am so excited about this layout. So I'm going to put this little bib on. And these cut files are all Cricut cuts. So you can have all of these by just downloading the file below. Easy peasy. Because all of them are on there. They're in pink because that's the way that the files were. Just pick your colors accordingly. And in all reality, I would cut extras and try and play with them because you never know what pattern's going to work. And like I said, I wanted a little bit of a floral in here. And I looked at a couple of the different florals I have that match with the papers. And I wasn't loving them because they were either a little too busy or the, the pattern was a little too big. And I wanted something a little more dainty. I almost cut uh, the heart paper from Good Vibes, but it was the color was just a little bit off. So I didn't want these perfectly in line. I wanted them a little staggered. They're not perfect because they're never perfect on a clothesline. And then this little dress has many layers and there's a little flower layer and everything. I have removed that from the cut file, but you are welcome, of course, to go back and get that and put that on there. I just decided I wanted more of the hearts um, on those. The, the other flowers I didn't care for as much. I still love those little britches. I used to love it when my girls' dresses would have those. They're just so cute. I know when Miranda was a baby, I had found a pair of denim ones and uh, she wore those a lot. They were so cute. <laughs> the things us parents love on our children. And then I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to put this down as far as I can. There we go. Okay. I think that looks okay. Maybe when I do alleys, I'll do hers a little taller. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put this picture down. And then let's put this down low because I really like it. I, I love this little border next to the picture, next to the papers. I, I just, I love this paper. This paper is so cute. Okay, I'm going to put this on first because I know me. And I'm going to put that picture lower because I like how it is on the other page. And then it's going to be too low. So with me in mind on this, I'm going to outthink myself. And let's get this down here. Okay. I'll lightly put that on so I can kind of slide this down a smidge. And make sure that that is kind of even. Yeah, that looks good. And put that there. I think this turned out so fun. And it was so quick and easy. The hardest part, of course, was picking out the papers for the, the clothes and enjoying them. And Nancy had a brilliant idea, but it was going to be really difficult for me, was to put one of the, the kids into one of the onesies and hang them on the line. Um, 
I was going to cut out some baby heads and some bodies and stuff, but it wasn't working real easy. So that's another idea. Add one of your kids to one of these little clothes that's hanging down. But with that said, I think this turned out adorable. I am so happy with it. Much better than I thought it was going to, too. So cute. And I love all these patterns. And I love that the patterns all work really well together. That is one amazing thing about Close to My Heart paper is that it really works well together. And these mix-ins are a must-have. Big must-have. Hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.